Let's begin the design phase by reading through the functional specifications and interpreting them for specific implementation ideas. The coin caliper 2 will accept an image of a single circular coin, measure the coin's diameter in both pixels and real world units, and then report the coin's diameter as a non-destructive image overlay. These first three specifications really form the basis for our default task. Accepting an image, that's what happens in the image get state. The measurement takes place in the image analyze state. In particular, we will need to develop a vision script that can perform the diameter measurement. We will need two new data highway lanes, one for the diameter in millimeters, that's our real world units, and the other for a diameter in pixels. We also need to allow for a user-defined region of interest. That means we need to obtain the region of interest, or ROI, from the image display using a property node. Finally, we are reporting the coin's diameter along with the current time and date on the non-destructive image overlay. And that happens in the image overlay state. The system time and date is already implemented in the machine vision app template. We will then need to read the diameter lanes to obtain the values that were written back here in the image analyze state. After creating the non-destructive image overlay, use the image show state to update the main image display on the front panel. Take a look at number 9 and 10. Illuminate the NI MyRio onboard LEDs under these conditions. These are also associated with part of the default task. Use the MyRio update port state for this purpose. When a coin is present, that is, when its diameter is greater than zero, we use that information to activate LED zero. When the coin's measure diameter exceeds a user-defined threshold, then we activate the remaining three LEDs. All right, that takes care of the default task. Let's move on to specification number four. Display the analyzed image when show analyzed is pressed. Otherwise, display the webcam image. This is a mode button and is already implemented on the Machine Vision app template. Number five, recalculate the real world unit scaling factor based on a coin of known diameter when calibrate is clicked. Keywords here, recalculate when the button is clicked. This is a one-time action that is triggered by the action button. I'll rename the expansion state number A to calibrate and then create a new data highway lane to store the millimeters per pixel scale factor. We'll also need to create a new action button called calibrate. In summary then, the calibrate task will be the calibrate state followed by the QSM release state. This state must always be the last state in any action task because it releases or unsticks, if you will, the front panel control button. Finally, let's deal with specifications six, seven, and eight that are involved with saving an image when the save image action button is clicked. Number of details here. Number six is already implemented by the machine vision app template. We need to make a modification to be able to handle the user-defined base name and an image sequence number. We want the sequence number to increment. I will add an increment file number state and then also add a data highway lane for the file number. The save image task will therefore look like the following. We'll use save image state that's already in the template, but again, needing some modification. We will use the increment file number state and then again, this is an action task, so finish with QSM release state. I'll wrap up here by pointing out that the Machine Vision app template has the save image and show analyze buttons ready to go. You will need to add the calibrate button as well as these three front panel controls and one indicator.